We, we are here to praise you. Lift our hearts and sing. We are here to give you the best that we can bring. And it is our love rising from our hearts. Everything within us cries, Abba, Father, help us now to give you pleasure and delight heart and mind and will that says I love you Lord This Mass is offered as a thanksgiving for all the favors said by John Alex family, Leo Matthews family, Jean Johnson's family, Bridget, Andrea, Rita, Mercy Merrill, Christina, and D. Vincent Paul Raj family. This Mass is offered for special intentions of Nancy Jean and Kevin Jean, for safe journey of Arun Nair and crew members, for peace and joy in the family of Clint Ferdinand and Andrea, for good health, peace and joy in the family of M.J. Gilbert and Mary Hedwich, for success in board exam for Rehan Rafael, for Sylvia to write her exams well, and also Joe, Anto, Melvina, Alex, Yorick, Shane to write language exam well. And also Imelda Mercy to write her exams well. And for special intention of Andrea, Nadia, Jeremiah. And for David to write well the exams. And let's also pray that God may grant eternal rest to Marie, Eric, Sheila and Edmund's family, Manasseh's sons, Andrew's families. Souls of Allah of Eternity, Holy Souls in Purgatory, Says Mary, Pushpa Amalraj, Nasimuttu, Mary Flomina, Margaret, Christy Paulin, Derek V. Ryan, S. Mendoza, Florin Mendoza, Jeffrey Mascarenas, Dr. Joseph Rebello, Marie Rebello, Anthony Suarez, S. Joseph, Sophia, Henry Hilda Baby, Anthony Alex, Teresa Alex, Adekala Sami, Regina Mary, Alexander, Teresa Mani, D. Jayaraj, Salit Mary and yes, Kalayarasan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today is the first of March, we begin the month of March, whose patron is St. Joseph. And today is the first Friday of the month of March. Let us dedicate our families and our parish to the most sacred heart of Jesus. I suppose all of you remember the first sin of mankind. What is it? First sin of mankind. Disobedience. Disobedience. Not disobedience. Huh? Cain, yes. Jealousy. Jealousy is the first sin of the mankind. Cain was jealous of Abel and as a result he killed him. And today's reading we will be also hearing about Joseph who was the last son of Jacob. The father loved Joseph so much that the other brothers were jealous of him and they sold him to a foreigner, foreign merchants. Jealousy is also present in our own families, among priests, among religious, and in politics and in society. Let us avoid jealousy and accept people as they are and appreciate if, it, if we could be. There are seven capital sins, vainglory, pride, greed, lust, Jealousy, gluttony, anger, and laziness. And let us feel sorry for the jealousy, for the sin of jealousy that we might have committed and ask the Lord pardon. 
Your response, her mercy on us. Jesus, you experienced agony in the garden of Gethsemane. Have mercy on us. Jesus, you were betrayed by Judas and arrested. Have mercy on us. Jesus, you were condemned by the Sanhedrin. Have mercy on us. Jesus, you were denied by Peter three times. Have mercy on us. Jesus, you were judged by Pilate. Have mercy on us. Jesus, you were scourged and crowned with thorns. Have mercy on us. Jesus, you took, you took up the cross on your shoulders. Have mercy on us. Jesus, you were helped by Simon of Siren. Have mercy on us. Jesus, you were met by the women of Jerusalem. Have mercy on us. Jesus, you were crucified. Have mercy, Have mercy on us. Jesus, you promised kingdom to the repentant sinner. Have mercy on us. Jesus, you entrusted Mary and John to each other. Have mercy on us. Jesus, you died on the cross. Have mercy on us. Jesus, you were laid in the tomb. Have mercy on us. May Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that we who glory in the heart of your beloved Son and recall the wonders of his love for us, may be made worthy to receive an overflowing measure of grace from that fount of heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Here comes this dreamer. Come, let us kill him. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 37, verses 3 to 4, 12 to 13, and 17 to 28. Israel loved Joseph more than any of his other sons because he was the son of his old age, and he made him a robe of many colors. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and could not speak peacefully to him. Now his brothers went to pasture their father's flock near Shechem. And Israel said to Joseph, Are not your brothers pasturing the flock at Shechem? Come, I will send you to them. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them at Dothan. They saw him from far afar, and before he came near to them, they conspired against him to kill him. They said to one another, Here comes this dreamer. Come now, let us kill him and throw him into one of the pits. Then we will say that a fierce animal has devoured him, and we will see what will become of his dreams. But when Reuben heard it, he rescued him out of their hands, saying, Let us not take his life. And Reuben said to them, Shed no blood. Throw him into the spit here in the wilderness, but do not lay a hand on him, that he might rescue him out of their hand to restore him to his father. So when Joseph came to his brothers, they stripped him of his robe, the robe of many colors that he owed, and they took him and drew him into a pit. The pit was empty. There was no water in it. Then they sat down to eat. And looking up, they saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead, with their camels bearing gum, balm and myrrh, and on their way to carry it down to Egypt. Then Judah said to his brothers, What profit is it if we kill our brother and conceal his blood? Come, let us sell him to the Ishmaelites, and let not our hand be upon him, for he is our brother, our own flesh. And his brothers listened to him. Then. Midianite traders passed by, and they drew Joseph up and lifted him out of the pit and sold him to the Ishmaelites for twenty shekels of silver. They took Joseph to Egypt.
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm your response. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. But he called down a famine on the land. He broke the staff of bread. He had sent a man ahead of them. Joseph sold as a slave. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. His feet were weighed down in chains. His neck was bound with iron until what he said came to pass. And the word of the Lord proved him true. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. Then the king sent orders and released him. The ruler of the peoples set him free. He made him master of his house and ruler of all his possessions. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. Voice proclamation. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a master of a house who planted a vineyard and put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it and built a tower and released it to tenants and went into another country. When the season for fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to get his fruit. And the tenants took his servants and beat one, killed another and stoned another. Again he sent other servants more than at first and they did the same to them. Finally he sent his son to them saying, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and have his inheritance. And they took him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. When therefore the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said to him, You will put those wretches to a miserable death and let out the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the fruits in their seasons. Jesus said to them, have you never read in scripture the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? This was the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people producing its fruits. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard these parables, they perceived that he was speaking about them. And although they were seeking to arrest him, they feared the crowds because they held him up, held him to be a prophet. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In Galilee, there were many vineyards, and it was quite common for the owners to let their vineyards to be rented to tenants. Many did it for the sole purpose of collecting rent at the right time. The scribes and the Pharisees were offended by this parable of the vineyard because it contained both a prophetic message and a warning. This parable speaks to us today also. This parable reveals three important points. First, it reveals God's patience. God gave the tenant farmers three chances even in the face of violence. Second, it reveals Jesus' uniqueness. Jesus is not just another prophet, but he is God's own son. And third, it reveals our accountability. It shows that sooner or later, we will be held accountable to God for our actions, just as the tenant farmers that is, the religious leaders were held accountable for their actions. God exercises great patience with us 
just as he did with the tenant farmers. We are responsible and accountable for our actions. My heart, my mind, my body, my soul, I give to you, take control, I give you my body, a living sacrifice, Lord, take control, take control. My heart, my mind, my body, my soul, I give to you, take control, I give you my body, a living side. Lord, take control, take control. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and in expiation of our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Saviour, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, earth is full of your glory. Glory fills the heavens to sing to him, Hosanna. Blessed is the one who comes, bringing this great glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, sing to him, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Save us, Savior of the world For by your cross and resurrection Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus You have set us free Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and George our Bishop and all the clergy, the religious and the faithful. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co host in our life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will. Holy One reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, O oh Jesus Christ, take away our sins, we pray, and have mercy on us all, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, O oh Jesus Christ, take away our sins, we pray, and have mercy on us all, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, O oh Jesus Christ, take away our sins, we pray, Grant us peace, so oh grant us peace, grant us peace forever. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but what you say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. 
never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I wandered far away from God, now I'm coming home. The paths of sin too long I've trod, Lord, I'm coming home. Coming home, coming home, never more to roam. of love. Lord, I'm coming home. I wasted many precious years. Now I'm coming home. I now repent with bitter tears. Lord, I'm coming home. Coming home. Coming home, never more to roam. Open wide thine arms of love, Lord. I'm coming home. I'm tired of sin and straying, Lord. Now I'm coming home. I'll trust thy love, believe thy word, Lord, I'm coming home, coming home, coming home, never more to roam, open wide thine arms of love, Lord, I'm coming home. My soul is sick, my heart is sore, now I'm coming home. My strength renew, my hope restore, Lord, I'm coming home. Coming home, coming home, never more to roam. Open on the arms of love, Lord, I'm coming home. My only hope, my only plea, now I'm coming home. That Jesus died and died for me, Lord, I'm coming home. Coming home, coming home, never more to roam. Open my thine arms of love, Lord, I'm coming home.
act of reparation to the sacred heart of Jesus. O most adorable sacred heart of Jesus, inflamed with zeal for the interests of your Father and the salvation of mankind. O divine heart, you are sensitive to our cries and miseries and always act in reparation for our sins. But in return, we only express our ingratitude for all the favors received from you and it is only just that we make our true repentance to the honor of your majesty. We therefore prostrate before you with a humble heart, expressing our detestation of such conduct. The multitude of our sins and those of the world has brought to your tender heart immeasurable agony which led you to sweat blood in the garden of olives. O oh, dear Redeemer, we realize how our sins must have brought grief and pain on Mount Calvary and we are willing to share the pain as an expiation of our sins. O oh, merciful Jesus, ever willing to receive all who labor and are burdened, grant to our hearts a true spirit of penance and sacrifice. O oh, loving Jesus, pardon all the sins which have been committed against your holy presence in the Eucharist. We implore you to graciously accept our sincere effort of repentance to cleanse our conscience along with the living and continual sacrifice of the Holy Eucharist, which is the most acceptable sacrifice to your eternal Father. Sweet Jesus, we need your blessing for the earnest desire and the effort <coughs> we have to take of ever loving you sincerely. O adorable heart, be our mediator with your heavenly Father, whom we have so grievously offended. We implore you to strengthen our weakness with tenderness and help us to rise above our iniquities. O sweetheart of Jesus, we take refuge in you so that nothing in life or death may separate us from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent to the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Sweet heart of Jesus. Fount of love and mercy, today we come, the blessings to implore. O oh, touch our hearts, so cold and so ungrateful, and make them Lord, thine own forevermore. Sweet heart of Jesus, we implore. Oh, make us love thee more and more. Sweet heart of Jesus, make us know love thee, unfold to us the treasures of thy grace, that so our hearts from things of earth uplifted may long alone to gaze upon thy face. Sweet heart of Jesus, we
sacrament was holy. O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.